The new large research facility at the Paul Scherer Institute is an extremely powerful X-ray light source which can be used to conduct experiments that were impossible up to now. The Swiss X-ray Free Electron Laser, or SwissFEL for short, extends over a length of 740 meters. The facility is composed of four parts. An injector with an electron source, a linear accelerator, a series of undulators, and the experimental facilities. The production of X-ray light begins inside the electron source. Using a laser flash, electrons are released from a copper plate with an extremely smooth surface. Now the electrons have to be accelerated to a high speed as quickly as possible in a high frequency cavity, a specially shaped chamber containing an electric field. The acceleration generates a magnetic field that inhibits the electron's tendency to move apart. After flying for only a few centimeters, they have already reached nearly the speed of light. The compact electron source is the heart of the Swiss Fell facility. The Paul Scherer Institute has refined it to enable the electrons to be generated and accelerated optimally. Only thanks to this further development, it was possible to build the entire X-ray laser in a comparatively compact and cost-effective way. After the initial acceleration, the electron bunch now flies in the form of a cloud towards the bunch compressor. The compressor helps the electron bundle to take on its most important properties, a very short pulse length and a very high charge density. Vital for the subsequent generation of the extremely short pulsed X-ray light. The electrons pass through a chicane comprising four strong magnets and are steered into different lanes, much like on a racetrack. Low energy electrons at the front of the electron bunch undergo a greater deflection by the magnets and take the outside lane, the high energy ones to the rear of the bunch, the inside lane. The electrons in the inside lane of the chicane catch up with the electrons in the outside lane due to the shorter distance they have to travel. The electron bunch is compressed. The compressed electron bunch now passes into the linear accelerator, which consists of 104 identical high-frequency accelerator structures. Here the electrons are accelerated further, or, as Einstein would put it, gain mass until they reach their final energy, 6 billion electron volts. Once the electron bunch has been accelerated to its final energy, the electrons are guided by the undulators, a string of magnets that are arranged one behind the other in an alternating north-south orientation. The electrons slalom in the magnetic field of the Swissfell undulators and this movement triggers an avalanche-like burst in the X-ray light needed for research. With a peak output of 10 gigawatts, it is many times brighter than any other X-ray light. After the electrons have radiated the X-ray light, they are no longer needed. They are captured in a beam stop. The X-ray beam, however, continues through the X-ray optics towards the experimental site. For the researchers, the time has now come to use the unique X-ray light for their experiments. Swissfell makes extremely rapid changes in atomic and molecular structures visible. Here are three examples of the large number of research fields that stand to benefit from using this special X-ray light. For electronic applications, researchers needed novel materials as the boundaries of miniaturization of conventional components have almost been reached. Many scientists in environmental research would like to follow the process of catalytic reactions at atomic level with a view to optimizing them. Biomedical researchers hope to be able to develop customized medication 
using knowledge of the structure of important membrane proteins. These researchers are eager to do their bit to brighten the future of our society. Swissfeld's X-ray light should help them achieve their goals.